Hello everybody, this is Crow the Sandler fan once again, and I'm here to do another movie review. This time it'll be on a, on a movie that's part of my childhood, and, and it's a movie that I've, that I've been watching at, at school recently. That would be on the 2012 computer animated movie, The Lorax. So the plot for The Lorax is, it's about... It it takes place in a town called Sneedville. It's a and it's basically about this guy named named Ted, played by Zac Efron, who wa wants to impress his girlfriend Audrey by 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 finding a a a seed to plant a real tree in Sneedville. But in but in order to get a seed. Ted has to see the the Wunzler and listen to the story all about the the Wunzler in order to get the seed. And O'Hare, however, um, is not happy about um Ted wanting to plant a real tree in 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 Fneedville. So it's basically up to Ted to plant the tree in Fneedville, and that's what the plot is. My opinion on this movie. All right, I um I remembered hearing um some people saying that the Lorax what was okay and and not very good and a bit boring, but I myself actually really enjoyed the Lorax. I I actually really loved it. It it was very good, heartwarming, funny, and 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 great too. And it's also part of my childhood as well. I I do remember liking that movie a lot when um when I was nine years old back in um twenty twenty fifteen when when I started getting really into that movie. And and I really liked the plot in the movie. That the the plot was uh, the the plot the plot is amazing. And it had a lot of good songs too. I like the Fneefil song that was in the beginning. I remember that song being catchy when I was little. And I still find it a bit catchy to this day. I also like um um that song the one story was singing when he was getting his stuff out of the wagon when he saw that na 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 That that song was good. But I gotta say, out of all of the songs, my favorite song, and that song also happens to be an internet meme, that, how bad can I be? That, you know, it's that song, oh, oh, it's that song, the one slur sings when he was chomping down all the trees. That's my favorite song throughout the whole movie. It's very catchy, and I'm glad it became a meme. And... I gotta say that, just like in all of Illumination's movies, the animation in the Lorax is really good. I still enjoy the animation to this day. And and the voice acting is really good. It, it's It's got a lot of talented voice acting. Zac Efron did amazing voicing Ted. Ed Helms did, did a good job voicing the Wunzler. And Danny DeFito did a spectacular job voicing the Lorax. Oh yeah, and Taylor Swift is also in it. She she did good. She did a good job voicing Audrey, and the late Betty White did did good, did good voicing voicing Granny Norma, and Jenny Slate did good too. She did a good job voicing Ted's mother, and um, out of all of the characters I like. There's actually only one character that I don't like, and it's a, and I never liked this character when I was little, and I still don't like that character to this day. That'd be the villain, Aloysius O'Hare, played by Rob Riggle. I never liked Aloysius O'Hare to begin with. Um, Not only I thought he was a weak villain, I also thought he was mean-spirited, and Aloysius O'Hare literally... um cares about nobody but himself and all he wants is a town of a town full of air and stuff and 
what I also didn't like about him is when he said that, Let it die, let it die, let it shrivel up and die. I, I like let it grow better than let it die. And I'm glad, um, O'Hare's o minions betrayed him. One of O'Hare's minions betrayed him by, by putting that rocket helmet on his head and flying him out of Needville. He deserved it. And, and I honestly am not a fan of Rob Riggle. I, I don't like Rob Riggle. I don't. I don't, I just don't think Rob Riggle it is funny. I didn't I didn't like him in the Lorax. I didn't like him in Let's Be Cops. I didn't really like Rob Riggle in in other stuff. And my dad is also not a fan of Rob Riggle. Um, there's just some comedians out there that I'm not a fan of, and Rob Riggle is one of them. I honestly prefer Adam Sandler over Rob Riggle. Um, but anyways, um, there's, there's pretty much a lot of stuff I liked about the movie. Uh, the animals were especially cute too. I liked the bears mostly, especially that, that, that fat bear. And, and I liked, and I liked the scene where, um, the one where was, was giving the animals all of those marshmallows. That was a good scene. And the climax of the movie was pretty good. You know the cl the, cl the climax, which is the chase scene. The chase scene was the chase scene was epic to me. I I really liked the chase scene. Oh, overall, I have nothing else to say about about the Lorax. To any of you who ha who haven't seen the Lorax yet, I definitely recommend it for sure. It, it's definitely wor worth watching. You, you'll enjoy the Lorax for sure. So for my final reign of the Lorax, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10 stars. It's a, it's a really good a animated movie from my childhood. So I hope you all enjoyed my review on the Lorax. Let me know what you think in the comments. This is me saying peace out.